spend the rest of my life with the same one, same one. Ain't no I and T. I'ma bring you good love, just come with me. Maybe you're all the company. I hey, you guys, welcome back to another video. Y'all, it's your girl A. Marie, and we're gonna quickly do shop my stash. Yes, baby girl. Yes, you guys, this is gonna be shop my stash for the month of January. And this month, I decided that I'm gonna go with all drugstore slash affordable products. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you're looking for a certain type of looks or whatever the case may be. Um, I already kind of set this up and we're doing this vlog style only because we got so much going on in this corner over here. Everything is kind of blocked off. <laughs> it's blocked off. So I'm going to do it vlog style okay hopefully you guys enjoy this video let me know what kind of looks or what kind of reviews you would like to see this month go ahead and put in your request now because all of january videos are not recorded all the way so if you give me a suggestion or a request i could nine times out of ten get it done for you guys so let's go ahead and jump off into it oh before we go don't forget to like comment subscribe and click the notification bell okay okay now let's go all right you guys so for starters you guys know that this is the ikea i think it's the mom dresser i don't know i will have a link down below i got it for Mother's Day in 2020, my wife surprised me with it. So now I have me an IKEA, IKEA vanity desk. So we're gonna start on this side. Um, for primers, we are gonna be using the Elf Jelly Pop primer. You guys know I love that. I'm going back to the collab Meet Your Matte velvet foundation and this one is in the shade mocha i haven't used this in a while so i decided to bring it back out i'm also gonna be using my number one favorite you guys this has been my number one favorite since i think 2019 or early 2020 whenever this came out you guys i haven't put it down so this is the l'oreal infallible fresh wear foundation and this one is in Deep Golden 525. You guys know I love this. I can't get enough. I don't think I would ever get over this. Let me know if there's another drugstore drug foundation that's better than this. Oh, Y'all. Y'all can argue with your mama, not me, okay? That is the best. Anyways, I did go ahead and pull out my L'Oreal True Match. My L'Oreal True Match in Deep Warm W9.5. I've been going back to this one. This is not the original shade that I fell in love with, but I decided to try the deeper shade. But you guys know, I think it was Cappuccino in this one that I was in love with. And when I... And when I went to get cappuccino to replace it after I used it all up, you guys, I seen Deep Warm and I was like, you know what, let's try this one. So, that's what we're going to be trying. We do have some concealers here. We have the e.l.f. 16 Hour Wear Camo Concealer and this one is in Deep Chestnut. Andrea Renee loves this shade, so I picked it up and have been using it a whole lot as well as my ride or die l'oreal infallible full wear concealer in almond once again argue with your mama not me because baby this here is holy grail okay and i am going to be using the f luminous putty primer you guys i bought this a while back and i'm just now getting around to testing it out so, between this e.l.f. Luminous and the Jelly Pop, y'all, that's what we're going with. Okay, so let me pull this forward. Um, 
we do have the eyeliner, the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. You guys know that's one of my faves. We have the black coal pencil from L'Oreal Infallible. This one is in black. We also got our Catrice. Yes, Catrice All Around Beautifying Concealer Pencil. This one is in beautif beautifully ivory that goes in my waterline. Y'all, we are taking it back. Okay, we are going with the Maybelline Big Colossal Times Makeup Shayla Mascara in black. We're also using the Crim Shop Swipe Right Brow Gel, and this one is in black as well. You guys, I've raved about this all last year since I found it. You guys can go and find it. I found this at my CVS. I don't know if your your CVS sells Crim Shop, but if y'all could get your hands on this, get your hands on it okay um so moving on we also got the elf liquid liner we have the l'oreal infallible bambi eye mascara these are not drugstore but you guys i can't do a look without using any of these no more so we do have the p louise eyeshadow base this one is in rumor number seven and these are very new to me and we also have rumor number six and we also got the mmmm no the mmm mitchell times p louise acid rain this one is in blank canvas y'all these will never these type of products right here will always be in shop my stash okay so for all over the face we do have the revlon nearly naked in deep i went ahead and finished up the project pan almost barely to there was none but I still had this one as a backup, so I was like, you know what, let's pull it out and use it, okay? So that's what we doing. We also have the Morphe Glamour Bronze in Leader. Y'all, nobody told me this was going to be hard with one hand. But we have this one right here in Leader. This is a bronzer. You guys know I love it. It doesn't show up as red as it really is in person but you guys this is a bomb contour bronzer product to have in your collection so i did pull out these lip liners so i have this red lip liner from ace beauté um yes yeah, ace beauté and this one is in so gorgeous which is a red i don't know if ace beauty is a affordable brand or not but it came in my boxy charm and i wanted to try it so these four right here are nobby and nobby comes from amazon and i bought these i will link them down below in my amazon storefront but you guys i bought like a hundred lip liners for like maybe $12 and every lip liner was a different shade you hear me how can you have over 50 lip liners in different shades from one company and it be affordable go check out my Amazon storefront they will be down there because I love these so these are from the brand Nobby I got the orange color which is a red I also have Mocha, which is a brown. I also have Espresso, another brown. And I have Black Brown, which is another brown. So those are all the lip liners I'm gonna be using this month. So let's move on over here. So I did pull out a few lashes. Here is my LA Colors Diva Lash. You guys, I found these at Family Dollar, and these dramatic lashes are the best, besides mine, okay? These are the best, besides mine. So I do have the Style Pretty Lady, I just don't know where I set them at the moment. I done wore them, but my lashes from AMB Lavish Pretty Lady is going to be worn, as well as my style lashes AMB Lavish which is Bat Girl. This is what Bat Girl looks like. She's very long, but very wispy. And she's still full. You guys could go shop 
my lashes right now on amblavish.com. Use the YouTube code. It'll save you some money off. Okay. So we have those lashes, but you guys, there's more lashes. Okay. There's more lashes. So right here, we're going to be using for blush, the Black Radiance Baked Blush. And you guys know this is my favorite. This one is in Toasted Almond. And like I said, you guys know this is my favorite. Most of these drugstore affordable products is things that I know I love and I won't have a problem creating looks with, okay? So this one is the All May Healthy Hue Blush and this one is in Wildberry. I reviewed this back in 2020 and you guys, I never find all made products that like work for me and baby girl this is my favorite blush favorite blush okay so we also are going to use the Maybelline Master Chrome and Multi Topaz no Molten Gold my bad and like I said it's from Maybelline something else that I absolutely love I did pull out this Wet n Wild Hello Halo blush and highlighter palette. I still have yet to use it, so I was like, you know what? I need to use it. I need to see if I like it. So I pulled it out. And then we got our two Nautila. These are supposedly highlighters. This one is a highlighter to me. This is in Lucent, Lucent Jungle beautiful gold i love nabla you guys it is a dream of mine to work with nabla that is going to be one of my 2021 goals oh is to get on nabla pr i'll tag nabla <laughs> so here is another one this is supposed to be a highlighter as well but you guys i wear this as a blush and this one is in adults only and this is my favorite blush and I absolutely love this blush. Oh my God. I do have my niece's Gloss Ballet Body Shimmer Butter. Ooh. This is a body shimmer butter. This is a lotion. And it smells like caramel. It's gold. It's shimmery, y'all. My niece handmade this. She does have her own business. So if you have a daughter, a niece, a goddaughter, y'all go shop Gloss by Late on Instagram. On Instagram, girl. And place your orders through Instagram with her. Let her know what you want. And trust me, she will get it done. I love this stuff. It stays next to me. I have my TTDI mirror. I have my Gloss Ballet mirror. As well as some tape, you guys. And then I have another mirror that came on my, um, my mirror that I use on top of my vanity. Here are the lip products. I do have the Maybelline Matte matte ink lip and this one is in espresso these came from like the coffee line and i really really like these i really really like them they smell like coffee they're long wear but i always love the super stay matte ink by maybelline i have so many of these coffee line and the regular line and limited edition i have them all almost almost all I'm gonna work with Maybelline too. That's on my goals list. I'm telling you. Okay, and so I got the BYS Velvet Lips Liquid Lipstick, and this one is in the shade Cherry Now. Another product that I found at the Family Dollar, and their liquid lipsticks are so freaking good. I have my Wet n Wild Goth Topic Liquid Catsuit. I have my Black Radiance Pour It Out Lip Oil. I have my Maybelline Lifter Glosses. You guys, these are the hydrating lip glosses. And this one is in Topaz as well as Ice, which is a pretty pink. I sell lip glosses too. I have my own lip gloss in my business. And these tubes, you guys, I want them. 
if I could find these type of tubes for my lip glosses, you guys, it's going to be a game changer. So I'm going old school and I'm bringing out my NYX Butter Gloss. This one is in Fortune Cookie. I love it. I also have my Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit. This one is in Missy and Fierce. This one is the Morphe Matte Liquid. No, the Matte Mega Matte lipstick and this one is in confess it is a brown but it's more of a cool brown you guys and i absolutely love this shade like yeah i love this shade Ooh, it is one of my favorites and you guys know i don't really do bullet lipsticks like that but this by morphe i love them okay so moving on i just have batteries in my remote back there we are gonna ooh, test out this remote state matte powder and it's not test out i'm trying to fall in love with it this one is in toffee you guys andrea renee turned me on to this and i almost swear by everything that she talks about and rave about but you guys i just can't get with this so i need to love it it's toffee i need to love it we're also going to use the ruby kisses matte finish powder this one is in deep chestnut you guys y'all can tell i love this right my only setting powder for my highlighted areas is my wet n wild loose finishing powder in medium deep a holy grail that i've been loving for years okay so right here we have the moisturizer by black radiance this one is in the daily butterbee moisturizer love it black radiance sent that over to me um as well as some skincare and stuff so yes i love it lash contour strip lash adhesive in black we have my sassy eyelash glue in black but y'all i just found sassy eyelash glue in clear in clear i'm super excited i'm wearing this glue today and baby girl i love it y'all know i love Y'all know I love the black one, so oh, baby, baby, that clear is everything. Told you guys, this is drawer number two. Oh, this is drawer number two. Yes, it is. It is. Take it all in, girl. So drawer number two really just really houses all of my lash styles that I offer. I have all of my emoji lashes here. I have some other lashes here. These two I think are like exclusive lashes. I have my lash. Okay, my bad, my memory card was full. So like I was saying, I have lash packs over here. I have all lashes over here as well as my contacts. I have contacts from what is the name of the company i have ttdi as well as contacts that i reviewed from a company poly eye um i reviewed their contacts like twice in 2020 so i keep the majority of my contacts here i have a lot of contacts i even have a uh, color cl i think it's called my twin sent me a whole bunch of contacts from the company that she works with so yeah make make sure to check out makeup shay here on youtube for your contact reviews for your bomb ass makeup looks for the journey of her pregnancy make sure y'all check her out she's having her third baby and as of right now we don't know what she's having but hello god mommy is waiting for you okay so here is another of my lash packs so right here is really where i house my eyeshadow palettes don't mind my Too Faced or my natasha denona these two came out of a boxy charm and I was wanting to try them, but I'm just going to hold them here for right now. I'm not going to try them just yet. I think these are going to be in the 
in February to shop my stash for the high end, but I don't want to forget to try them. So the palettes that I will be using this month is the Nomad by Juvia's Place. I just recently got this and haven't touched it. I want to use my new mood. You guys should have already seen the video on that or you will be seeing a video using this eyeshadow palette very, very soon. Um, don't mind the Violet Boss. Um, I have my Beauty Creations Esmeralda number 2 palette that I got in a boxy charm. And I haven't used it, but Beauty Creations is affordable so boom here are some colors that I want to try to play with so the other one is my more free times Jacqueline Hill which this is ring the alarm yes ring the alarm this is the only one I have from the vault palette and as you can tell I love it but I haven't used it in so long that I wanted to play with it. So the next palette is this Hip Dot palette. And if I'm not mistaken, I got this out of a boxy charm as well. Is Hip Dot still even a company? I thought they were no longer a company. But I got this in a boxy charm. And look at it, it's so pretty. So freaking pretty. So I gotta use it. I got to use it. And then the last palette is the Carity palette, the Conte palette. I bought this off of Poshmark from a seller and I had it since 2020 and have yet to use it. So I have to use it because I hear too much about this palette. So now all I need is the all mattes palette. I heard the all mattes palette is the bomb, but Carity is not sold nowhere out here in Texas. So that is basically everything for Shop My Stash. All of the satin sprays. Um, I will be using the Garnier Skin Active Soothing Face Facial Mist. I have my Milani rose water setting spray i have the crumb shop i am silky matte primer and setting spray and last but not least i have the ciate the ciate london everyday vacay setting spray and i got this one in boxycharm too what i will be using for the month of January so you guys let me know what you would like to see what eyeshadow palettes you would like for me to create looks with or anything like that put your request in your suggestions so I could go ahead and get them done I'm also gonna be rocking I need to wash it but this is my watch me sparkle headband if you guys would like to shop watch me sparkle go down below in the description box and get my coupon code to save you some money off girl because baby girl she has a lot of great things as well go shop my eyelash my eyelashes right there right there shameless plug Go shop these beautiful eyelashes, lip gloss, skin care, body care. Girl, go shop it right now. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog style. Shop my stash. Hopefully you guys will be ready for the looks all 2021. Baby girl, we coming hard, okay? Love you guys and I will catch y'all in the next one. Trying to spend the rest of my life on my day one, day one